stolen items. <laughs> yes, yes. Welcome to In Our International, the most authentic on the airwaves. If you're not dealing with us, who you dealing with, huh? This is Mr. Make It Rain, Noel Rainey, and... Flawless Flaw, Peace Love. Y'all just got done listening to that Humble by Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, we had to we had to dig back a little bit for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Let y'all rock out, you know what I'm saying? And we here with the lovely, the beautiful, the one and only. Ah, yes, Aviance. Like yeah. Hey. We in the building. Hey, look. Shout out to Miss Lady C on 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 the on DJ. The on the twos. ones and twos. She got Drake over the shoulder. Uh-huh. <laughs> We doing what we usually do, having fun as we as we make sure that um, everybody gets a chance to hear the best in community topics, politics, art, entertainment, culture, culture, and more, and music. So this is in our international, and what do we have in regards to DK news? Just so we can start it off, the t- we can start off the topic on. So we can start the topic off on. Um, what's the the trending topics that I heard recently on uh, by way of CNN is that Miss Ilhan Omar, mm-hmm. right? This is your Democratic representative out of Minnesota. She just made the, the news based off of her controversial um, Statement. statements on um, the fact that the majority of the United States backs and supports the occupied state of Israel. So right now they've tried their best to um, bring about some type of anti-Semitic, um, anti-Semitic charges against her. They tried to have meetings arranged in regards to uh, is she actually a um, is she a good representative for what she represents as her her committee stances um, on the House of Representatives, and I mean. I believe that in regards to that, all she's doing is just voicing the opinions that mostly everybody already recognizes. Like, our Federal Reserves is not government-owned. At all. You know? Um, most of the entertainment business, whether you deal with um, Metro Golden Mare, if you deal with Columbia, if you deal with um, any of the record labels, most of them are... Jewish. <laughs> so she's saying that based New off of uh, the politics and the people who uh, who place their money behind many of these um, labels, businesses, and government, they're like, how can you represent two two nations? Do you represent the United States of America, or do you have dual uh, dual interests with America and Israel? Mm-hmm. Right, so I mean that's a that's definitely a, a hot topic, and personally, I mean I stand behind Elhan Il- Omar because they stand anti-Semitic, and for those who know, it's almost impossible for a person of Arab, or even uh, she's considered as Kushik because she comes from Somalia, uh, her, her parents and her bloodline come from Somalia. Those are the natural Jews. Those are the ones who, I mean, if you know Heli Selassie and all of that, and know that history, they come from the bloodline of King Solomon. That's, that's the tribe of Judah, the Lion of Judah. So, I mean, I, you know, I don't really understand how people can be called anti-Semitic and they be Semites themselves. I mean, is that just speaking real about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> so, that's one of the trending okay. topics, DK. Um, what else you got for, for the DK news? DK news. Um, oh, right across the borders, right across the waters at Ryder University, uh, the dean of schools at Ryder University stepped down from her position. <laughs> and why might that be? She stepped down from her position because it was said that Chick Fil A was pushed off of being even thought about as a place to eat at on their campus. Um, when she asked why, it was said that behind closed doors, the meetings pretty much said that based off of the LGBT community, that they didn't want no problems. They didn't want Chick-fil-A. And she said, well, is it because of the belief system? And they said, yes, it's because of the belief system. She said, well, I am, uh, as they called her, an affront Christian. 
And they said, well, um, she said, I'm stepping down. Yeah, and so she resigned after that, correct? She resigned after that. And, I mean, I'm... I mean, I, I feel as though that's like an agenda being pushed because it's like, why, why? We understand that the person who owns Chick Fil A said his stance in regards to a particular community, mm-hmm. but he, that doesn't stop him from serving anybody in the United States. And not to mention the franchisees, you know, mm-hmm. other owners who embark upon the Chick Fil A business. Yeah, may. I mean, maybe I'm conduct their m- business a little differently. Maybe I'm unaware, but like. Do I mean does the LGBT community not um, eat from Chick Fil A? Like, do is that like a uh, you know? I mean, I want to know. Like, is that like a, a power move where the people sure just they like probably do. they right. they like no Chick Fil A? It's, it's a running joke that they still eat Chick Fil A. Yeah, well, I mean, I want to know. I mean, they have, good, they have good customer service, <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. They, they better people than like most Chick- other people, other people, other people other like Chick Fil A. Yeah, yeah. So Put my pride aside and um. Eat that sandwich, right? Get your food at a a OK time, and everyone is super nice. So I don't got no problem with Chick Fil A. Yeah, the way those lines be like, I mean, that's the that's the thing. I got I got a problem with Chick Fil A only based off of the lines. People be lined up for days. You gotta get the app. You gotta get the app. It's hey, good. You got an express line. Straight to the door. It's a pickup right there. Absolutely. Right there. Absolutely. I'm even gonna advertise the Chick Fil A right now. But <laughs> so. Right. I mean, if y'all looking for some brain investors, you know, <laughs> you know sponsorship. <laughs> we can sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's going on in DK News right now. And did you know? Um, we're going to talk a little bit more on DK News later on as we go along. But right now, we're going to get to our esteemed guests. Mm-hmm. We well, have Aviant. Yeah, you already know. For those who don't know, I would like y'all to introduce ourselves so that our, our viewers, our followers, everyone who's listening in can get a chance to, to know y'all personally. Not as Aviant <laughs> as, a, as, as, a, as a whole, but yeah, yeah, individually. individually. Right, right, right. What's and good, followers? <laughs> it's your girl, Beyond. Uh-huh. Crazy Hill. You know, hopefully I can say that word on this show. Um, <laughs> what's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? Ooh, all right, yeah. I'm D-Day the Rapper over here. Um, that's exactly what I am. The Rapper. The D-Day rapper. the Rapper. All uh-huh. right, and it's a D-A-R-A-P-P-A. All right. Don't put right. no the T-H. Rapper. Don't put T-H in off. there. No, 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 no. Well, no, it okay, is one yeah. on. It's, it's one on. <laughs> don't, don't put say the r- r- rapper. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one on, but you know, we got to put some stank on that a little bit. Right. Okay. And it's duh. Duh, 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 duh rapper. Duh. Yeah. All right. Uh-huh. You got it. We got you. You got <laughs> it. My name, my name is Dominic Nicole. That's about as simple as it's going to get. I ain't got no crazy introduction or none of that. That's all you got for them. That's all Just Dominic need. Nicole. That's, that's all they need. That's, that's my name. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. And they're welcome. Used to it. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> you <should get> used. <laughs> <laughs> and tie your handle. Like, look yeah. me up. So Google how, me. How, how can yep. they get in contact with you ladies? And, and what do you ladies have going on? Let's Ooh. talk. Let's talk. <laughs> I like her <laughs> accent. Um, yo, uh, y'all can follow us on our social media at Aviance Music with the Q. That's A V I A N C E Music with the Q. Make sure y'all follow us everywhere because uh, we always everywhere. Yes. Um, yes. And Definitely if you're not are. With the social media, you yeah. can always check out our website, which is badgirlsofrb.com. That's badgirls, letter R, letter N, letter B, dot com. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. We pop up in interviews, you know, we make appearances. Um, sometimes we don't give warnings, you know, family be like, what you doing today? I'll be like, we in New York. They be like, damn, when was you going to give us the, <laughs> the, the, the rundown? They right. be like, you know, New York up the you street. Know, we you know, we, we, we about to go way. to Chick-fil-A. You know. Right. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we keep it, we keep it thorough like that. But no, we always doing stuff. Um, and especially because our album drop is Aviance. So yeah. we just been promoting heavy and just been grinding nonstop. So. Mm-hmm. Yes, we got hey. some, some magazine spreads coming. Uh-huh. Hey. You know, you know, so keep an eye out. I take my jacket off. It's getting a little hot. <laughs> you you have to get real now. Talking about magazines. Talking about magazines. Yes, we got some, mega, uh, some magazine spreads, some more interviews. 
Um, got some content coming for y'all. Mm-hmm. We got some yes. videos More coming for y'all. We got be, yeah, that content about to be us. fire. Yeah, we got a lot of fire. Of it's cool what you saying with it today? That content is about to be fire. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. it's about to be fire like the candle right in front of me that y'all can't see on the so other y'all side. Y'all can't even see that. <laughs> It's just oh, but it's vibes. Eternally. As, as you can it see, it's vibes. Too. Exactly. <laughs> well, I definitely certify y'all because every time I turn around, and you know, I'm in, this is in our international, so y'all know yeah. I'll be everywhere. Yeah, we so, see you everywhere. Course, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm talking right. about we be in Delaware, <laughs> VA, right. New York. It'd be like, oh, right, turn right behind. Oh, <laughs> hey, ladies. It's always love when we run into each other. Absolutely, right always. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a good sign. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, right now, I think what we need to do. We need to get into some music, right? So, yeah. Miss Lady C, I think that we should get into some, into the, let the people get a chance to hear Avian so they can know what all the talk is about. You hear me? Yes, I'm really, really young. How long will it last? All I want to do is play. I want to live fast. Nobody around to slow me up. I don't know if this is good or if this is bad. Look, you can't tell me anything. I swear I know everything. Yes, yes. We back in on the national. You understand? Just to make it rain, no rainy, and flawless flaw, peace, love. Ha <laughs> ha. And Aviance in the building. You know, you always. Know, we tore the roof off already. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, look, we love, we, we love the music. Everything that y'all coming out with was fire. You know what I'm Thank saying? You. Flames. The vibe, the energy, and all. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, I appreciate that. Appreciate all that. So, I'm going to get into the topic of the day, ladies. And our topic today is Have you ever heard of the light at the end of the tunnel? Always, yeah. So we're going to talk about that light at the end of the tunnel and how to focus on it when faced with hardship and triumphs, especially in an all-girls group. Mm-hmm. So what has, what has a key method been that each one of you utilized and to keeping one another or yourselves motivated to continue to strive for your passions and your dreams? Good question. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, I would say, um, you know, oh, the day to rap over here. I know we a group, so I just like to say who, who's talking. Um, so I think the difficult part of, you know, focusing on the light at the end of the tunnel is the fear of the unknown of what's around you and your peripherals and what could be, what could be so close. Mm-hmm. So it's just really... Not fearing that, not fearing that at all, not, you know, thinking about like, okay, what could happen in the darkness there? Then like, you know, tons of people like, just to think, tons of people are always pessimistic mm-hmm. towards girl groups all the time. Like, oh, you know, there's going to be some type of tension. There's going to be something that happens. That's in the dark, in the, in the darkness, that's irrelevant. Because right now, I, that's not something I see. I see light at the end of the tunnel, and that's mm-hmm. where I'm going to be. So all mm-hmm. of that other stuff that everybody else is seeing is irrelevant. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that's the only way to be, for real, for real. Because, I mean, mm-hmm. if you let other people, it's like y'all relationships. So that means that everything that y'all do is between y'all. So when you have other outsiders, just like any type of relationship that comes in and say, Diablo. That's, that's whispers of, you know what I'm saying? The outsiders is trying to break y'all apart. You can't have nothing break y'all apart. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? If this is a group, this is a business. If it's a business, it's a family. Yeah. So mm-hmm. y'all keep everything family tight, business. keep it close, and don't let outsiders mm-hmm. disrupt that by any means. I think, uh, I think uh, you know, to second or piggyback on what D Day said, uh, my name be on y'all. Um, since you did, <laughs> um, I, I really think you know it's not even the the external factors that could you know try to make his way in and try to destroy a relationship. I think also you have to be careful about the things internally too, uh, because if you're not careful, there are sometimes um, internal issues that could distract you um, and distract you from seeing the light at the end of the ter- um, tunnel. 
And so I guess as as a group, you just have to be, or just a, in any relationship, you just have to be transparent mm-hmm. um, about everything so that those distractions aren't distractions. They're just, um, I don't know, they're just something that you can get through um, mm-hmm. after talking about it. And um, it's funny because when you, when you think about the light at the end of the tunnel, you never know how close you are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You never know. I mean, because everything around you is dark. You don't know how many more steps you have to take. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just something. It's just something that you have to, you know, be open and honest about. And um, you know, you just don't want the, you know, internal things to mess anything up. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah. And um, just to close out, this is Dominic Nicole, by the way. <laughs> just to close out um, from what D Day and B had just said. Um, one thing that motivates us to keep that eye on the prize and you know keeping you know that faith within the end of the tunnel Mm -hmm. um we have to keep that communication open of course like we have to let each other know you know what's going on within our personal if it starts to affect the business like sisters should Um, right Mm -hmm. so we have to keep that communication open let alone um we're all motivated for the same reason like we Mm -hmm. all have that that vision, that same goal that we're trying to get to. So it's, it really doesn't become difficult for us to mm-hmm. keep that eye on the prize and, you know, have the tunnel vision because we know what we want. And we know, I'm not going to say that we necessarily know the exact route to get there, but we know that we're getting there. So no doubt. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's, that's yeah. Yeah. I love the determination. That's, and that's, 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 that's key. Yeah. You know, that's what the it's about. I mean, after being together for a long time, um, it hasn't been an easy passageway at all mm-hmm. it has not and we won't sit here and, and make it seem that way but um when you stick it out to the end or what's close to being to the light at the end of the tunnel um the reward is great mm-hmm. right. so mm-hmm. right absolutely <laughs> so um another thing right so because mm-hmm. you guys are in a group when it comes to making your songs how does that process work do you guys have to like how, just just talk to me because So me this is how it go. We all sit in a circle, right? We cross our legs <laughs> and we go, hmm. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, yeah. Um, no, we don't. Um, no, it's 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 all just a vibe. We vibe off each other when we write. Um, you know, one person might write a hook, the other might feed off on a verse, vice versa. Um, it's really a collaborative thing. Um, when somebody got a, a, a concept or a topic, it's just something we 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 ride with. Um and I don't know, it's just to me, it's, I think it's a dope experience because everyone has different perspectives, um, different ways how they how they approach something, and where one part of the song kind of lacks, the other person kind of feeds in and, and exactly. you know emphasizes it more. So, I think all together it's just dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and we have various ways of um, recording. Like, so one way we might just all go to the studio. Um, we might be sitting with some type of producer of some sort, and he'll just play like a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. And we'll go through it, see what we like, and once we fit, I mean, once we figure out what it is that we like, we can just write from there. Or sometimes we might have a, a million or one um, beats within our emails, and <laughs> somebody might write something to it, it, and they'll send it. Like we'll send it over either in the garage band or like just email mm-hmm. it over to each other. I'm like, all right, I wrote this, y'all. What you got? Like, right. Right. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's really it a different ways. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So producers, you know what to do. Uh-huh. <laughs> if, your, uh-huh. if your stuff good, you know where I email that. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> Get at them. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't hard to find. Hey, but look, for real, that's that's really that's really how it goes down in this in this uh, in this era. I mean, a lot of times you don't even have to be, you know, what I'm saying, a part of um, the actual studio process. All you got to do is just. Be part of that email process. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll mm-hmm. take care of the splits. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that you cert- you certify BMI, ASCAP, whatever it is. Of course. They'll take course. care of you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Listen, mm-hmm. we, we know. We want, we want it. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So my question for you ladies is, um, did you come with any surprises today? Any freestyles? Do you ladies? Uh, <laughs> we always uh-huh. come in. Through with that urgency. What y'all got for in the national? Yeah, you don't come with any surprises today. We're the surprise. We're hype. Yeah. We're alive. That's the surprise. <laughs> we appreciate your presence. <laughs> right, I mean, I but come and bless the waves for them. Let's, okay, let's so bless the airwaves. Let's, 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 let
I'll just let the stage up, like stage up for you guys. Yeah, yeah like, like the stage up. Right. Yeah, let's right. switch it up. Right. 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 Switch it up a little bit. Right. Yeah. I'm the president. My state of the union is heaven sent. Hey. You're building my office irrelevant and ain't worth 50 cent. Many men. What? <laughs> Wait, I'm a monster, Whoa. but I still got some class like a roster. Uh. Please get the hell off my top, sir, because you chasing me like you a copper. Really? Ugh, I'm a titan, but the girls think I'm sweet because I'm light skinned. Like, mm-hmm. Do you think they slick and they might win? Mm-hmm. But I give them the L when the night end. Ooh. Tiger in the jungle, waiting on niggas to fumble. Hey. Swerve, take a detour because my pockets is fat like I'm Seymour. <laughs> All right, y'all. You will not hurt my pride if if right now you decide that you are not ready to settle down. But But if you want my heart, then it's time that you start to act like your mind in the light and the dark. If you love me, say Say it. it. If you trust me, do do it. it. If you want me, show Show it. If you need me, prove it. If you love me, say it. it. If you trust me, do it. If you want me, show it. If you need me, prove it. Go. All right. Yeah. Go right. (laughs) Yeah. You heard it first. You know what I'm saying? They just played and the game. Another one. No, another one. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let them really know they're welcome. That's I'm yes. <laughs> I'll be honest, y'all. <laughs> that's the 90s laugh. On that note, let's go to another track. Let, let them cool down a little bit. But you know what? We're going to heat them up a little bit more with one of y'all tracks. I'm a real one, but you knew that. Welcome back to NR International, playing live every Thursday, 5.30 p.m. to 7 Eastern Standard Time. This is Mr. Make It Rain, Nalt Rainey, and... Flawless Flaw, peace, love. Y'all just got done listening to that Jay Brown. And, of course, Aviance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See... A lot of times y'all hear the rap, but this is an R&B smooth type of evening going on right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, we laid back, we chilling, we cool. It's a good night, you know what I'm saying? And we having fun with the ladies. So make sure that y'all tune in every Thursday. And while y'all tuning in, also remember that next next Thursday, we're going to be out of state. So everybody who's down South by Southwest, salute. Gilly, everybody just just doing the doing the stage. You know what I'm saying shells. Shout got, out shells to shoot we the all corporation. corporation is down there, so make sure. So make sure that y'all tune in, not next week, but the week after. In our international, but for right now, we're gonna continue on this topic though. So Miss Flaw, let's tell them tell them the topic, and let's see let's see how I can be able to offer my my two cents on it. <laughs> so this topic being right, uh-huh. how is it that when in the middle of a hard time, triumph and hardship, do you stay focused on the light at the end of the tunnel? Well, concerning the light at the end of the tunnel, everybody already knows anytime they embarks upon anything that you have to have dedication, you have to be disciplined, that whatever it takes to reach your goal, you have to be able to make it. That means that anything that the world sends to you, meaning it's going to toss everything possible, the things that causes you to break down, the things that causes you to cry, the things that makes you feel as though the next day you're not going to be able to make it. However, you're never given anything that you can't handle. So as long as you're still here, as long as you're still breathing, as long as you're still able to have that confidence in your heart that I can even if it's with your molar teeth, your teeth, you, you just, you using your teeth to pull. I'm, I may not be able to lose, use my limbs, but somebody got a rope. 
I'm biting down. Pull me. <laughs> we gonna make it to that to that end of that that marathon. You know what I'm saying? And it's even better when you got people who support you, even if it's just you, even if it's just you three, because what that means is that when one falls short, you got your sister is your crutch. That means that all right, you feel like you can't make it. All right, get on get on get on my shoulder. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? For the time being, not forever. Yeah. Only for the time being. Well, what you mean they got sisters forever? No, what you mean? no. What no, what I mean by that is meaning that everybody still pulls their weight. Mm-hmm. So right. meaning that all of you are strong together. Helping by not helping. Exactly. Yeah. So That's in that way, what mm-hmm. I mean is that, like, not saying that you know it's not going to be a, a, a forever thing, but what I'm saying is that in those moments of being weak, if you feel as though the world has tossed everything that is able to toss at you, and you feeling weak. Your sister is going to be the one. Your partner, the person who's by your side, is going to be the one to say, you know what? While you're feeling weak, I'll be your strength. Mm -hmm. So as long as you have that inside your heart, you have that inside your will, that determination, you're going to always survive whatever the world tosses at you. You're going to win. But you have to stay focused on it because you know it's going to come. But every time that it does, just know that it's only been sent so that you can say, okay, yeah, I've been there, done that. I'll survive all type of hardships, all the tests that it's possible for me to, to, to receive as one, as a woman, secondly, as an artist. And then you can pass on those lessons to the next generation. I mean, I, you know, I, y'all still young, but I'm just saying, I want y'all to be like the Aretha Franklins out this thing. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to be the the uh, the, the Gladys Knights and the, and I'm only saying how, because, you know, I'm a Gladys. Salute. Hey, Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> I want y'all to be like everybody who, the, the Mary J. Blige's, everybody who's made it to be known as the queens of what they do. Mm-hmm. Y'all queens. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay. Spoken like a true king. You got that wisdom. <laughs> you got that wisdom. All right. Yeah, that's right. So. So something that I, I remind myself on a constant when facing a hardship is that this too shall pass whenever... Mm-hmm. I'm in a situation, whether it be tough, whether it be me not wanting to continue, knowing that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and Mm -hmm. that it won't be dark forever, but understanding that in the darkness, a lot of people are programmed to believe that darkness is a bad thing, Mm -hmm. you know, and and it's not. Darkness is where creation comes from, Mm -hmm. literally. So Mm -hmm. to use it to involve, to evolve, and to make yourself stronger because once you've reached that light, you don't want to forget the darkness. Don't forget where you come yeah. from. Exactly. And well, so the darkness makes you who you are. Mm-hmm. So allowing that, that time to grow and understanding and processing. Because mm-hmm. sometimes when we are going so fast in life, we don't mm-hmm. get a chance to process things. So knowing thyself and enjoy it while you're going. Exactly, life is about mm-hmm. the journey and the experience, not necessarily Absolutely. the destination. Mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. Definitely understanding that, um, like you said, I, I definitely second anything that you are going through. You have the strength to overcome. You know that it it's is not stronger you. than you. It is not bigger than you, mm-hmm. despite how you may feel at the time. And yeah, all power is within. Okay. Hands clapping on that one. <laughs> with, with a little plug, a little plug. Yeah, <laughs> hey, but listen, this is in our international, like we always do. Every Thursday at five thirty p.m. to seven, we usually leave out with the quote of the day, words of wisdom, and um, I believe with this. This, these, uh, this time, what I should leave with, I should leave you with something from what m- one of my elders sent me. And um, usually this is how we stay in touch, even if it's the case that I might not talk to him or get a chance to be with him. We might just send just some few words that might inspire us through the day. He said, life itself is always a trial. In training, you must test and polish yourself in order to face the great challenges of life. And this was said by Murehi Yushiba, also known as the one who started the art of Shinobi and, and Bushido, the Bushido Code. So life itself is always a trial. In training, you must test and polish yourself in order to face the great challenges of life. Every time you step on that stage, 
every time you you face something that you feel as though it causes your your heart to to pound a little bit like how we going to do this time that's just polishing yourself to become an even greater artist and even more so an even greater person mm-hmm. keep doing your thing gotcha. and on that, that note we do this Please, make sure y'all stay tuned then we do this every time <laughs> in on international take it to the streets tv <laughs> you know absolutely take it to the streets tv www.take it to the streets tv.com and also make sure that y'all uh, y'all download the app and follow us follow us on youtube exactly in our international continue the conversation through the comments for those who who uh check us out on the live rather it be nr international rather it be mr make it rain rather it be no rainy or rather it be flawless flaw stay tuned in you're going to always see a lot coming from us this is what we do every week this is what we do y'all already know in our international special thanks to avian's ladies yes. thank, thank you for having thank us you. thank you always a, hey, always a pleasure. blessing <laughs> and on that note let's go into the last of the avian music for y'all good night y'all hey, it's my favorite okay <laughs> Here on the couch with the lights out, Jodeci faded in the background. You know I can't take it when we on FaceTime. You know it gets crazy. You mean everything. With my heart on my sleeve, you mean so much to me. At first, what seemed so impossible, you came around unstoppable. So here's what I'ma do. I'ma speak my mind.